welcome back to my channel i'm so happy to see you let's just dive into the week four of the mastery program this is officially something completely new this week for me since i did just the first three weeks last year so yeah i'm pretty curious about this week and so far i've seen that this week is about still lives which is absolutely not my thing I think so far, but maybe this week proves me wrong. So let's just set up my first the life that I will paint from life. So before I start, I just shortly wanted to explain what I looked for in my composition because they actually rules how you put it together. So I have my object which should be the focal point on which is the owl. I looked that this is in the bottom right corner. That's a point where the eyes are naturally drawn to. Then I have like a line that leads here. I created it with this walnuts. So which leads the eye exactly to my focal point. The same we have through the flowers and you can also see I put a walnut here in the back so it's also a line that again leads to my owl. And for my colors I looked for that I have repeating colors in the whole thing that I don't have something that will draw the attention away from my focus point. So I found that this flowers for example line pretty well up with the yellowish leaves of the mice here so i have something in the upper top and something in the bottom layers also with the flowers i decided to put some down here because otherwise if these one weren't there you'll see that like the tension goes here a bit more because that's like popping out very much like this it's more even that's better well and now i'm ready to go what I did already in the morning was painting the whole canvas with acrylic paints uh, with a brownish tone, so I have a base layer I can work on. Well, the next exercise is, surprise, surprise, still alive again, but this time it's gonna be charcoal drawing. So I just set up my little still life here. As always, I'm just gonna start with the outlines. For that, I have my scale tool again and my jumbo charcoal chunks. So I can just outline everything without worrying that I messed it up. I'm all done with the outlines now. It took me around one and a half hours. So now it's time to light up my candle <laughs> because I want to have this nice glow. I wasn't able to find my lighter, but I guess these will just do fine. I guess you're not allowed to actually light them up. <laughs> yeah, it worked. <laughs> Well, the one still life is done and it's already time for the next one. Now it's again a painting, an oil painting. Well, this time the composition is a bit simpler. Also this time we should focus on painting some reflections. So I added this 
glass here with the lid and also the spoon. And of course it's Halloween, so <laughs> that's why I chose the pumpkin to be there as the main object. We have a limited palette again, but a bit <laughs> extended. So now I can choose two colors on top of that. I will go for an orange because I have a lot of orange in my painting with the pumpkin. We had pretty tough to decide on the last one, but I think I'm just gonna add one more brownish dark color so I can mix like really dark tones. Two hours and 50 minutes and this painting is done. I can't believe that I was able to do this within this short time. I'm almost done with week four. There's just one exercise to do, which is an oil painting. But before I do that, there are some packages to unpack. So here they are. Um, yeah, so first thing I got is just another isopropanol. I don't want to run out of it, so I ordered a new one. Always good to just keep clean things and also for alcoholic inks to use it as a diuter. And then I just got more brushes. Yeah, just for the smallest details. Um, actually, like with the new painting style that I'm learning right now, I don't need them that much, but I decided to do some commissions for this Christmas. and. Yeah, for the super realistic work that I will do once more. Um, yeah, I need this. Look how thin they are. Especially with the small ones, I haven't noticed any difference with the expensive ones from the art shop. So I'm just going for the cheap Amazon brushes. Uh, I think they just work as well. Oh, I got it. <laughs> kind of really big. Um, I got it because I want something to store my drawings in. Also, in case I need to carry paintings, like I could also carry this as a protection um, with me. I'm ready to start now. I have my painted canvas here. I used acrylics for the first layer just to have something to put on top. And then here's my little setup for today. As last time I'm allowed to choose two more colors on top of the ones from last time. Wow, that was quite a productive week. I just produced this three paintings here and the two drawings, which makes five artworks in total. For that I've never done still lives before, I think this was actually much more fun than I expected. I honestly always thought they would be kind of boring to do. It's actually pretty nice, like I think they all give like a really nice calm vibe. Of course, it's a still life. And also the fact that you can just take things from your home. You don't have to go anywhere. Just put them down and just paint it, bam, and you 
have something you're good to go um, that's like really easy and you don't need to worry about some copyright issues or anything. I think I will do this again. It was quite fun actually. I struggled a bit to keep up with the time during most of the pieces. Um, I think with this one it worked quite well but the other ones I took too long to finish them. Yeah, I'm still not there yet that I'm painting completely loose, but I guess that will come over time. So far I'm still happy. I kind of really like the matcha piece. The green is my favorite color, so maybe that's why. I think this would be a super nice piece to put in the kitchen. So if you're interested, let me know. All paintings are up for sale. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's it for the week. Next week there are gonna be a break week basically which I'm also gonna use to finish my commissions. So yeah, I guess I will take my time on that, maybe even two weeks of break. Um, so I guess there will be <laughs> maybe more short videos for the next weeks and uh, less vlog videos. So I can just focus on the things I actually have to get done. And yeah, then I still hope to see you soon and wish you a wonderful day. I had a dream. The sun was shining all on your face and on mine too in our favorite place.